What is going on everyone? Welcome to your 69th Java tutorial. I've been making a lot of Java tutorials I just noticed. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to add some functionality to the box. So what we need to do to add functionality is add an item listener. And what an item listener does is it pretty much just chills there and waits for you to click something. And when it clicks it, it pretty much just, well, tells it to do something. So let's go ahead and take that box because that's what we want to add an event to. And we'll go ahead and add item listener. There we go. Now, as you know, an item listener usually takes an event handler object as its parameter. But I'm going to tell you guys how to do something real cool here. Instead of having a new object like handler and having it pass into the handler class, what you can do is if you go ahead and there we go just like that instead of having an object and creating a whole another outside class somewhere else you can actually put something called an anonymous inner class in here and what this does is it actually implements the item listener class so here's how you do that go ahead and type new item listener just like that and this is your declaration for an anonymous class that implements item listener so instead of having like before handler class implements item listener outside and we have to make a whole new class what we can do is just go ahead and stick a class into here and pass it in for the parameter as add item listener and we bypass that entire step of having to create a whole new separate class so again since we named an anon anonymous class that implements item listener we need to use that method and that's called item state changed as you can see right there so what this class has to have in there is only one method and that's no well, let's go ahead and create it right now item listener has uh, let's go ahead and make it public void item state change I gotta make sure I spell that right and did I oh yep nice now what we have to do is of course it types in item event event just like that and as our body for this we just go ahead and write whatever we want to happen when we select one of the options and here's how you can do that go ahead and make an if statement and this if statement determines what option you selected so if the event get state change this pretty much if you clicked a button we want to set it equal to or excuse me we want to test if it's equal to item event dot selected so what this pretty much means all right did you select a button is it equal to what was this pretty much means what was selected just in a nutshell so what was selected first of all whatever you select we want to take that picture and remember this is just the picture that appears on our screen we want to set icon which pretty much means change the image to in the parameter it says what icon do you want to change to well we have an array called pics and but we have the thing is we have two elements or two images in this one so what one do we select well, well go ahead and type box dot get selected index with empty parameters just like that make sure I typed everything right parentheses bam bam now make sure the method get state changes undefined type and oh here we go hold on a second all right guys in all of my excitedness I did another stupid error I actually put get state change instead of change quite embarrassing make sure you type that right but now pretty much that's all we needed to do so what this does is it makes an anonymous inner class and this is the class itself and in this class the only thing we needed to do since it implemented item listener we needed to add an item state changed method since that was the only method in item listener and then we pretty much just said alright what item did you select or what option did you select in the drop down list and change the picture to that icon or item so now we can go ahead and get out of add item listener and we can pretty much just add all this to the screen so add that box to the screen and remember that box is just a drop down box 
and now we want to take that picture and add it to the screen but by default let's go ahead and set it uh, equal to new j label and we'll do pix zero and this pretty much just gives it a default value so you know something appears before you choose any options and lastly let's just go ahead and add that picture to the screen just like that and we shouldn't get any errors shouldn't and now let's go ahead and just run this and I'll show you guys what we get by default again like I said we have B on the screen which is uh, at the index of zero then when we select X our picture changes the X we can go ahead and select B X we can do this all day if we want really but no time for that we need to overview our program so what we did is pretty much, let me get to the good stuff. We made a box variable, a picture variable, just a hold box and picture later on. We made an array of file names, and we made an array of images named pics. And then we went and go ahead in our constructor, which is pretty much making the window. We added a title, added a layout. We set that box equal to new J comma box, and it took the file names is the options. So again, if I go ahead and run this, this these options right here are the default for file name so that's why that was able to run and the only confusing part which we didn't knew is this instead of having a new object in a new class we just went ahead and stuck that handler class inside the add item listener and that was actually an anonymous inner class and what we needed to do is we needed to overwrite this method item state changed because that was the only method in item listener and we overrode it with a nice little function right here and then we went ahead and added the box to the screen then we went ahead and added the picture to the screen and just gave a default setting and we were good to go so again here is our awesome little program right here flawless no bugs no anything so that's all you get for this tutorial thank you guys for watching in the next tutorial we're going to be going over something else cool you can do with GUIs and um well that's it so again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next tutorial